the Vikings and the Packers to decide the NFC North. I'm a little bit surprised that the Vikings are favored by as much as they are at, at, at five and a half. What about you? Yeah, I guess I'm a little bit surprised as well. The Vikings are uh, this sizable a favorite. But then you look at points scored and points allowed, the expected record for both teams. And the Packers are really more of an 8-6 and six kind of team instead of an 11-3 and three kind of a team. Uh, but as far as the Vikings are concerned, they're 10-4. and four. Points scored and points allowed, they're 10-4 and four as well. Packers have feasted off of a plus-14 turnover differential. That's second best in football. I'm not sure how sustainable that, that is for these last two weeks of the regular season going into the playoffs. The Vikings are not far behind, though, in turnover differential at plus 11. That may very well be a wash in a game like this. Aaron Rodgers is 15th in completion percentage over expected plus EPA per play. Kirk Cousins, though, he has been elite. He has been at or near the top of the leaderboard as far as that's concerned. And it feels kind of weird to go with the quarterback who has not done well on Monday night with a large spread. But that's exactly what I'm going to do. I think Kirk Cousins can cover that.